Hey guys, Robbie here with the Divi Engine team. Excited to bring you another Divi 5 developer update. Now, in lieu of all the exciting news that Nick released in his last Divi 5 dev letter, we are on the verge of the Divi 5 Alpha for the public. That means you guys will be getting your hands on this and we are excited for you to do so. But Peter will go through what happens when you update a site that is using Divi Engine plugins when that public alpha drops. It's going to show you some, you know, some, some things that go good, some things that go bad, but there are a couple surprises in there, but really want to make sure that you guys aren't throwing this onto production sites just yet and that the Divi 5 Alpha is exactly that. It's a very raw version of the plugin. Us as developers don't even have access to all the bells and whistles in Divi 5 yet and some of the documentation still on the way to help us with certain aspects of rewriting our entire code base for all of our Divi plugins so that they're fully compatible with Divi 5, but that's enough from me. You want to hear from Pete, so take it away, Pete, and tell these folks what they can expect when they update to Divi 5 when it releases. Hello, Pete here with the Divi 5 dev updates. Just want to make this video as Elegant Themes announced, uh, recently announced that they'll be re releasing Divi 5 public alpha. Just to remind you that a public alpha is very early release which means that there are going to be bugs and issues. It should not be updated on a live website. And uh, it's more to help uh, elegant themes with bugs and small fixes that they need to be doing in order to get to the beta. When it's in beta, then it's more stable. And uh, you possibly could at that point start to try to do it on, on uh, live websites. However, I would still ref uh, refrain from doing that until uh, it is well tested and launched properly. So when the alpha is released, test it on new websites. Start new websites. Uh, don't go ahead and update on your live websites or you will be in trouble. Anyway, so what with that being said, I thought it would be quite interesting to look at updating existing sites that are made with Body Commerce and Machine, our two biggest plugins, and seeing what happens. So we can all identify any possible issues. So on the left here, we have a body commerce tech layout, which we made. And on the right, we have Divi 5 up updated on the website. So as you can see on the homepage, the first thing we can notice is the header. There's an issue with the header after updating to Divi 5. Um, this isn't really our plugin per se. This is Divi, uh, uh, Divi Steam Builder. But for some reason, it's not working well. You can see our search bar, our search plugin uh, module, sorry, our search module is there. But the styling and things is not working in the header. In the actual page itself, things are looking pretty good, to be honest. I think Divi have done a good job with backwards compatibility here. You can see our carousel module is looking almost exactly the same and is working exactly the same. So that's brilliant. That's looking really good. Um, Again, on the footer, we have problems again. So it seems like the, the main issues here are the head and the footer. In the actual page itself, things are looking pretty good. Same as the category page and same as the product page, actually. On this site, the main issue is the head and the footer. So that's, that's pretty good. Looking in, in the admin, um, I've gone to body commerce settings and I'm editing the shop templates. Uh, in there, what's really interesting, and it's a big change from the last uh, video we made, is Elegant Teams have done great in terms of creating backwards compatibility for DV4 modules. So now you have all, before you didn't have all the settings. It'll just, you know, so for example, uh, we're editing the shop page. So here, uh, you know, the category page, sorry. So you can see how we have, you know, these products um, before you couldn't actually then edit anything else but they allow you to edit all our settings now I noticed that we don't have our tabs anymore it's all just thrown into one one tab but that's fine but this is this is quite this is surprisingly like I'm surprised uh, from elegant themes um, how they've managed to add backwards compatibility and all the settings are still there so you can still actually use the module, but there may be some problems. Um, 
one of the big things I would say is there's actually not really any point updating until all the the third party plugins have caught up is because the website's still being slowed down with the Divi 4 framework. So even though there's backwards compatibility here, it's still using Divi 4 framework. So, you know, there's no real added benefits in my view. Just going to look at a Divi machine one now. So we have this cars listing. Again, on the left is the updated, on the right is the, oh, it's all the way around, sorry. Uh, yeah, on the right is the is the um, old DV4, and on the left is DV5. So the header, because we there's no theme builder header, it all looks the same. Uh, this search form is all looking great, actually. Uh, it's going to reload this because this is looking really good over here. So I'm trying to reload this just to make sure. Yeah, it's all looking really good. Okay. So that's good. Then on the category page, I can see some problems straight away. Some styling issues in the header um, as well as in the filter and on the card so there's a few there's issues with the styling this this template is created in the theme builder so i wonder if it's because it's the theme builder that there's problems whereas that is the home page this is on a normal page that we've created this so you can see it's edit page and it looks really good this one over here is created in the theme builder and it's not looking so good so i wonder if that's one of the problems is the theme builder um, compatibility. Um, uh, we can see that if I just, uh, this is the new site, if I go to a saloon car, saloon car, it actually filters correctly and actually <laughs> the filtering looks really good. It looks back to normal in there. Um, so the filtering works really well, still works, uh, but some styling problems there. On the on the single page, we have the same issues, styling problems. But you can see all the contents there, everything's working. But it's just not looking 100% sharp because um, I think it's in the scene builder. So I would not be updating straight away, but I think there's massive pos positives in all this uh, that even. Uh, in the scene builder, I'm in the scene builder layout. You can see he has an AC item, and you can check. He has, I've chosen mileage, and the mileage appears over here. So it all works. Um, so, yeah, what are my thoughts? It's positive. It's really positive that, that the backwards compatibility is pretty good without us even doing any other changes. Um, it seems that anything in the theme builder has issues. So maybe that's something that Divi might even improve because on the page, it looks good. Uh, even on, uh, yeah, the page looks good, but in the theme builder, which was in the body commerce example, it was the header and the footer, which was created in the theme builder. And in machine, it's, uh, it's this uh, categories page that any of these that are, that are created in the theme builder seem to have styling problems. But functionality-wise, it all still works. So that's that's positive. Um, so I would one, I would not update on a live website yet. Um, if you really want to go for it, you know, create a staging site, update, and then even if, even if you want to use it, you could probably use some custom CSS. But I don't really see the point in that. Um, so yeah, so that's it. So don't update. Um, if you want to play around with this, do it on a new website. Um, our modules are not ready yet. We are still working on this. Uh, recently, we've only recently uh, got involved, well, we've only been recently given the, the theme builder version, which works as the theme builder. So now we're working on that um, and we're making good progress there. So, yeah, that's it. I hope this helps. I hope it's a good video for you to see. I hope it's positive. Um, I think really good job on elegant themes. On their backwards compatibility part, I'm really surprised at how, how good it is. Um, and yeah, so good job, ET, if you're watching this. And uh, that's it. So until the next time, guys, 
and girls. Um, I'll speak to you soon and we'll have in the next video we'll have uh, a, a lot of progress on our, our modules um, and I hope you're looking I hope you're looking forward to seeing that video. Have a great day. Speak to you soon. And there you go, folks. That was Pete giving you the rundown of what exactly to expect when you're updating an existing site to Divi 5 that are running Divi Engine plugins. And one of the biggest surprises and highlights in there is the backwards compatibility that is built into Divi 5 right out of the gates. So that was exciting to see. We're excited to see how this feature develops because it's still very early, but I'm sure there are a bunch of different strides and milestones that they're going to be hitting to improve that backwards compatibility so you don't see some of the issues that we saw in this video that Pete went through. So guys, this was a very exciting installment in our Divi 5 dev loaders. So definitely hit the subscribe button or just like the video or comment if you have any questions. We're happy to have a chat and then definitely check out the Facebook community where we're interacting with you guys daily regarding the Divi Engine plugin suite as well as our Divi 5 progress. So guys, that's it from me, Roby with the Divi Engine team. I'm going to catch you in the next video real soon. Bye for now.